you guys. Today I want to talk about how to clean the oil out of your bowling ball. And these newer balls, the reactive resin balls, they really suck in the oil off the lane. Um, and, and that's sort of what helps them curve so well compared to the old urethane balls um, that relied on more of just a softer material to help that ball grip the oil. But because these reactive balls suck in oil like crazy, you really, really have to um, figure out a way to get the oil back out of there or your ball is just gonna not really grip as much when you're trying to curve that ball into the pocket. So there's a couple things you can do. The first thing is gonna be your everyday type cleaning and they make a lot of ball cleaners to do this. Um, I like to use this one, it's called Hook It and this is some sort of combination of um, I want to say acetone and some other just detergents to help clean the ball out but what I'll do after every night of bowling is I'll just you'll see kind of a track on your ball where the where the curve kind of goes and it just kind of lays a really deep track of oil so what I'll do is I'll just kind of spray along that track and um, take my microfiber rag and wipe the ball down every single night with that so like I said, Hook It is one brand, and I'll put a link to that, but I, there are a couple other companies that make a similar thing. Um, in the past, I've used just rubbing alcohol, but it just doesn't really get it quite as tacky as these do, because what you want to see is just this like really, really tacky feel after you're done with it. And that works pretty good, but what you're going to want to do at the end of the season or maybe mid-season is more of a deep cleaning to really get all that oil out of the ball that's built up over the span of the season. And um, the method that I'm going to use is the submersion type method versus you might have heard like the oven method or the put it in front of a heater method. And I think to me this is kind of the safest method. And it's also really easy. You can just do it at your house. Um, there's really no fancy tools required. But what you need to do this is some Dawn dish detergent, some duct tape, a bucket, and um, just a couple microfiber rags or towels. And the first thing we're going to need to do to perform this is to just tape over the holes on your ball. So in my case I have the finger holes with inserts and I've also got this side hole here. So I'm going to use duct tape. Um, you could use frog tape, that green stuff, but you're really just trying to seal these holes so you don't get water in them because if you do, um, what that could do is kind of um, loosen the, the grips. And the last thing you want is a grip to fly off when you're bowling, which unfortunately I've had happen. So I'm just kind of taking little squares. You don't really want to use more duct tape than you really need. And if you do get water in your grips, um, it probably will be fine. But this is just one kind of just easy to do preventative measure just to try to make sure that doesn't happen. And the next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take your bucket and you're going to fill it with hot tap water. So you don't want boiling water. You want, say, like 120 to 130 degree um, water, which should be enough to sweat the oil out of this ball. So what I'll do is I'll just run my tap um, as hot as I can make it, and then we'll bring it over here and we'll move on to the next step. So we filled our bucket with hot water. I measured the temperature on it and it's about 120 degrees, which is right on the edge of where you wanna be and that should work for what we wanna do here today. And then just to kinda of help extract that oil just a little bit better, I'm gonna go ahead and put a little bit of Dawn dish soap in there. And then I'm gonna go, uh, you know, stir it up a little. And I'm gonna drop my ball into here. Again, just make sure your tape's really nice and sealed. 
and we'll just slowly set the ball down in. And I'm going to leave that sit for about 10 minutes and then what I'll do is I'll come back with, my, with one of my towels and I'll just kind of rub the surface a little bit on it and wipe any oil off and just let it sit a little bit longer. So it's been about 10 minutes and um, I can feel a lot of slime on the outside of the ball. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take my, um, my one rag here and just kind of try to wipe some of that off without um, dislodging my tape if possible. And then we'll just leave this thing to soak for about another 15 minutes. And then we'll uh, move on to the next step. It's been about 25 minutes now, so I'm going to go ahead and pull the ball out of the hot water. And you can see, um, I didn't mention this, but I've kept the holes roughly pointing downwards so that in the event that any tape does kind of get loose, um, it really still shouldn't get too much uh, water up in the holes because it'll be kind of air trapped in there. So I'm just going to kind of wipe it just a little bit here, get any oil that might be stuck on the surface off. And then what I'm going to do is uh, take this over to my sink. I'm going to rinse the heck out of it. I'm going to wash it with um, just a lot of just clean water. Try to get any of that Dawn soap off. And then I'll just add some fresh water to my bucket and uh, just let it soak just a minute longer. And again, just make sure any soap's off of it. So I've just taken it out of the final rinse and I'm just wiping it down really, really good because just kind of getting it through the hot water again could just take a little bit more um, oil out and you just want to make sure you wipe it off before it were to suck back into the ball. And this is really all you need to do. Um, remove your tape and make sure you wipe any residue clean. If you can't get the residue off, you could use some rubbing alcohol on it. It's going to be easier to get off when the ball is still warm though. So I'll just try to wipe this residue off here as good as I can. And what I'll use is just a little bit of my ball cleaner. I can also already feel that my ball's a lot more tacky. You can just hear it when I try to slide my finger on it. And what I'm going to do just as one final thing is to um, just hit it once with the ball cleaner. And like I said, if you have um, like if you don't have ball cleaner, you could use like rubbing alcohol, but it's really probably not going to work quite as good. So I'll just kind of go over this once here. Make sure it's pretty dry of water. And I'll grab a um, nice and dry rag. And that's really all there is to it. Um, if you did end up getting any water in your finger holes, you're gonna probably wanna wait at least um, 24 hours before you bowl with the ball. Uh, even if not, maybe like 48 hours. Um, but otherwise, the ball's basically ready to roll and I can almost guarantee it's gonna curve like crazy compared to before you did your cleaning on it. Uh, so if you wanna help me out, just make sure you hit the little subscribe button down at the bottom for more cool videos like this. And thanks for watching.